Zach Zazawa's 1940 Global just finished round five. And this is what the bore looks like. Things are definitely getting interesting, especially in that region, as you can see. Give you a recap of uh, what's going on here. Ooh, the sun is very powerful there, as you can see. Okay, well, the fighting continues on the Eastern Front. Uh, yeah, Germany's getting close. Still holding Western Ukraine. They moved in some more tanks, mechs, artillery, and men. Uh, slowly, they're probably going to overpower Russia. Uh, Russia, this upcoming turn, is going to have to decide, are we going to hold it? Or are we going to pull back to Moscow? As you can see, more reinforcements from Leningrad and East Poland will also be joining the main German army. So uh, we'll see what Russia does this upcoming turn. I don't know if they can hold that territory. Uh, they definitely have to watch out for Smolensk too, because uh, you don't want Germany to sneak into Moscow in you know any cheap way. So um, they do have help coming here for Britain, um, trying to help out against these Japanese small units coming in from the east. So um, that's definitely uh, where the victory is probably going to come for the Axis in the European theater is Moscow. Uh, we'll see what happens there. As you can imagine, more troops from Germany are going to the Eastern Front. Uh, Germany doesn't have much in the Western Front, but we'll have to start concentrating on putting some troops there because the Western Allies, yay! They finally got into the, well, not they haven't got into the menu, but they took Morocco and they took uh, Gibraltar, so that's definitely a good start, you know, but it may be too late by now. It took them almost freaking five rounds. Um, yeah, so that's good for the Western Allies, but like I said, it may be too late by now because Germany is so strong and it's getting close to Moscow. We'll see if this makes a difference or not. And they're going to bring in more uh, equipment to uh, North Africa to try to kick the Italians and Germans out of there. So Egypt still has a complex. Uh, they also built one on Iraq, and that was a buffer to try to help the um, Russian troops in the south by Stalingrad so we'll, and against the Japanese. So we'll see if that uh, pays dividends in the long run. Italy was forced to pull back its main navy to um, Sicily Sea and uh, just get a hold out right now. Basically they lost the naval race against the Western Allies and as you can imagine Western Allies have much more money than the Italians together. So just trying to pull back and make the Allies come to them and hopefully try to take out as many ships as they can. Africa is most likely going to be lost because they have no... The problem is they can't bring transports. they got to bring their ships to protect them. And the British could just pick off those transports or uh, the air units over here could also do it too. So, you know, Africa is probably going to be gone within the next few turns. But it is what it is. Can't do much for Italy. Uh, Japan is um, still doing good in Asian land. Uh, they're kind of... In, on a standstill against the British units next to Burma. Uh, both armies are pretty strong. Hopefully Japan will outlast them with that complex of French Indochina. They also built a complex off Malaya to shuttle more troops in there. So we'll see what happens this uh, next turn. But they still have a lot of holdings on uh, Asia for sure. It did lose island, it lose Java. So um, Japan does not have any transports right now. They need to build some so they can take that island back and the Americans have some here with the big navy also. Problem is if Japan can't build really anything here because the Americans are just going to pick it off. They could try here but again the Americans have the air force so they built a factory here which is out of reach from the Caroline Islands and uh, basically hoping to you know contest these territories the ones that they're going to lose to the allies and try to take back Java and Try to secure these territories because that's the end for Japan. Still playing defense in the Philippine Seas. Uh, allies are, have also have a very big navy in the Caroline Islands. So uh, we'll see what Japan does. You know, they're trying to hold their last gain or I guess last breath in the naval race. But it's going to be tough because the Western Allies have more ships. So they may just have to, you know, I'm not sure they're going to hang on to the Philippine Sea. They do have that kamikaze and they got a pretty decent navy there with more subs coming. But... That Western fleet is pretty intimidating. Plus, they got six more subs coming. So, uh, Japanese commander is going to have to make a decision. And U.S. continues to bring in 
naval units to the Pacific, but you know some stuff has been going to Europe too because uh, the European theater right now is definitely going to act as a side in my opinion. Pacific, probably the Allies. So um, yeah, that's what the board looks like after round five. It's been fun as we get ready to begin round six. Deuces.